click the bell icon to get latest videos from ekida hello friends now we are going to consider the frequency division in sequential circuits let's start with the discussion we are going to discuss the application of sequential circuit that is the frequency division how we can achieve the frequency division with the use of the sequential circuits now to achieve the frequency division we already know the flip flops in toggle mode so we have to use the flip flops in toggle mode to get the frequency division and to know the concept of frequency division we are going to use the three bit up counter timing diagram so we have used here the timing diagram for three bit up counter specifically a three bit asynchronous up counter so we will explain this time diagram to achieve the frequency division this is your clock signal having eight clocks this time represents the period of one cycle that is t now these are the outputs of three flip flops that is qa qb and qc now these are the negative edge triggered flip flops that's why whenever negative edge triggering is there then it will change its output so this is the output for qa diagram for qa now we will focus on the time period of qa so this is the complete time period for qa that is it is nothing but 2t we are going to write in terms of the basic time that is t so we can calculate the frequency output of qa frequency is the reciprocal of time that's why we can write here frequency of output of first flip flop that is qa is 1 upon 2t here we are getting 2t that's why 1 upon 2t and it will become frequency by 2 now we can calculate the frequency of qb that is output of flip flop b here we are getting according to the timing diagram 4t so that's why we can write here 1 upon 4t and here we can write f clock by 4 now we will focus on what frequency output of qc now if you see here one cycle period having time of 8t so frequency for output c of flip flop is 1 upon 8t so the frequency of the final flip flop that is c and its output is qc is given by 1 upon 8t because here total period we are get is 8 so in terms of frequency we can write here f clock by 8 so in this way after getting all these equations what we have achieved we have achieved the frequency division that is in first case divide by 2 it is divided by 4 and it is divided by 8 in this way, this is the application of sequential circuit in terms of the frequency division. Thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned with Ikeda and subscribe to Ikeda.